Hey guys, Buckskin Snuggie here with a quick tip in regards to farming dragons. So the first thing you want to do is basically get to a map where you can actually fight a dragon. Now you want to quickly look at the map to see how long it's going to take before the dragon actually shows up. And if you're like me, I prefer to actually go to an instance that's got very, very few people. So that way you know if you do a shout out and you get a group of people together, you'll have more people actually fighting the dragon as opposed to running around and doing quests. Quickly take a look and see what instance you're on through the main menu. Now the easiest way to gather a group of people is basically you just jump into the game chat there. Uh, make sure you're on zone so that everybody in the same map will actually hear what you're saying. And just, you know, give a shout out and say, hey, drag up on 57, two minutes, need some help, you know, or lots of room, could use some help fighting a dragon, whatever. And you should definitely have a group of people who are going to rush over and try to fight this dragon with you because a lot of other people are trying to farm dragons just as much as you are, I guarantee it. And the main reason why is a lot of people are fighting dragons so that they can get different weapon drops and armor drops. You know, if, if you could, though, the sooner the better you could be fighting these dragons. Like, I started basically at level 48. I probably should have started around level 40. But yeah, one quick note to uh, keep in mind here when you are fighting these dragons, you know, is if he's going to fire his fireball or his fire breath or do a close range attack, you know, do yourself a favor and get out of the way because he could potentially one hit you. Um, the other bit of advice I could give towards you is keep an eye on your surroundings. You know, if one of your allies is getting downed, you know, run over and revive him as fast as you can. Keep an eye on the mobs around you because the mobs will be hitting you, trying to slow you down. Like I know there's the archer on this map here. I believe she does like this little magic trick where she kind of gets you stuck. And if that dragon hits you, you're totally fucked. But you'll notice with these maps too that there usually is a campfire relatively close so make sure you got a lot of health potions and injury kits so if you do get downed and nobody quickly runs over to revive you you know just jump back into the action use your injury kit run over get back into the fight and start kicking some ass. Um, I did about 50 dragons I've slayed so far and I only got one piece of equipment the drop rate is really really terrible for these dragons but you know, it's a grinding game, so that's something you kind of have to get used to. You know, just keep at her, and you will start getting some badass equipment from these things. And if you do get an excess of anything, you know, search it up on the auction house. See what it's worth, because auction house prices always depend on supply and demand. You know what I mean? So if you could find any good equipment that you can be potentially making some astral diamonds off of, you know, like I said, look it up. and Try to bid a fair price, you know, and a fair buyout price. And, yeah, you should start racking up some decent kills with these dragons with a group full of people and you should hopefully get some good equipment. Now I believe there is a total of about four or five different dragons. I will have the locations and the dragon names listed in the video description below but yeah I hope this kind of helped you out for a quick little tip in regards to how to get a gang of members to kick some dragon ass and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I will be hopefully coming out with some more videos here pretty quick. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and catch you guys on the adventures. Now one last thing I wanted to mention here is basically when you do kill a dragon, it'll say Heroic Encounter Success in the top right hand corner. So that's how you essentially collect the rewards from the kill. Uh, you just press select a couple of times, highlight it, press A button, and hopefully you will be getting some good shit. Uh, it is random though uh, for the equipment drops and the drop rate is very low so it might take you a while before you get anything. Like I said it was about 52 or 51 times before I actually got anything but hopefully the RNG gods are good to you guys.